so I'm not I'm not using any grids or anything so I just went straight onto the wall on the, um, the heavy lines uh, which are your, your tones right now which are what brings out the piece my name's Quizzy I coined it Quizzy did it because I figured you know what other alias could I have really <laughs> I think I started painting 2011 20 like painting painting you know like doing paintings but otherwise I was painting on t-shirts with your puff inks your seeker paints basically your textile inks and I had a brand called evaluate back then um, that a homie of mine helped me come up with I just always painted but I never really knew how to channel that 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 energy into something a little bit more constructive. And then I started learning how to really use the brush on canvas, I think later in my life, yo. So I had this homie, um, Pimelo, and like, we would just, we would just like paint until, like we would just be drawing cartoon characters all day. You know, so I think I knew it, I mean, as far back as my your 98s, your 96s, when I was drawing sketches for, for my classmates. But because it was such a such a part of me that I never really thought that I never thought of it of it as a superpower. It was just me doing me and like just like my friends were kicking soccer, were kicking ball over there, um, I was drawing, you know. I just drew. That was like my hidden talent, you know, so I think, yeah, I knew it since, since way back. One of my, my greatest challenges is getting your, 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 your full pay's worth, you know? Nobody really appreciates what you, what you do out here. You know, you, you, you even got it at agency level, you know? It's not even, it's not even what your people on the ground, you know? It's, you, would, you would imagine like an agency with a full budget allocation, um, is gonna pay you 3K for like a job that you know is well worth 20 or 30, you know what I mean? And not that they don't have the money, they just, they just won't. Because like, why are we giving this guy 30K? You know what I mean? We're slowly changing that, that, that mindset. Presidential campaigns are talking about like, you know, um, the creative industry. And the creative industry has always been mistaken to only be the music industry. Now it's becoming more prevalent that there's more than just the music industry and there's like, there's a whole, there's a whole battalion of creatives across the board, like it's not just music, you know what I mean? <laughs> Artists should treat themselves seriously. I think it's ridiculous when somebody will charge, you know, or pay for a mural like this, something like 900 billion, you're like, what is that? That's sacrilege. And even people that don't like it, they see it and they're like, what is this? And some kids will pass by and they'll want to come and see it and touch it. I just think if you're going to own art, you, you have to understand it's a real investment. You know, a lot of people will want to um, look at art and not really understand and appreciate that art is something that you invest in. I own a whole body of art and, you know, Botswana art, art, you know, at the end of the day when I look at it, you know, I see something that personifies me, I see something that speaks to me as a person. And I'm very, very proud of the fact that I have supported this industry. The fact that people will dare to say this is too expensive or people will, will think that, you know, artists are not deserving of the same treatment that they will met out to other professions, I, I just think that's that's just wrong. And I think artists should stand up and in unison and a person should say, it's either you can afford this piece or you can't, it's either you want to buy it or you don't buy it. You know, every now and then you get that constant reminder that you are who you are and you do what you do, you know? And you know, you get all the, these accolades, you're amazing, and hey, blah, 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 but you know, you never really think of it as such a big deal because it's, you know, it's what you do, like without even thinking. You just keep doing what you do. Like don't don't get phased. I mean, inspiration comes like in so many forms, you know. But don't ever be discouraged to, you know, to pursue your dream. <laughs>